Hey, what's up, Scott Walker with the Magic Education Films, and today we're talking about these, the Nextarage B2 Pros, and they're so freaking fast, you should call them the B2 Bruh. So before we get started, a little housekeeping. Nextarage did send these over to me for review, but no money has changed hands, and they don't have any say in the review whatsoever. So, you know, just maybe click subscribe, because, I mean, why not? What else do you got to lose? Yeah. So these are the B2 Pros. And while I was at NAB, I ran to the Nextarage booth and was saying hello, and was of course using my B1 Pros, having a blast with them, enjoying them, because they perform exceptionally well in that they always perform at the same level without degrading, which is something I've really enjoyed. And they said, have you, uh, have you seen our B2s? And I said, uh, uh-uh, I haven't. And they're like, you should, you should see our B2s. We'll send you, we'll send you some, check them out, let us know what you think. I said, okay, well, can I also check out one of your NVMe discs, your, your, your SSDs, the little eight terabyte here, right here. I, want, I have some ideas for using it for editing to speed up some workflow, just, you know, I just wanna see how it works. And they're like, Okay, Scott, for you, we'll, we'll do that. Um, so, yeah, I've been using these almost continuously since NAB. Uh, and I have to say, they kind of blow me away how fast they actually are. They also sent me a, uh, a reader, which is really high quality, uh, makes things super fast. Um, these are 660s and 1330s, so 1 1.3 uh, terabytes, and this is 660 gigabytes. Uh, there's a lot to be said for these. Uh, I started having some issues with the red cards recently. People were talking about it, and I was like, I haven't experienced any issues with the red cards. Uh, I just I just had one fail. <laughs> that's, that's not good, that's the angel bird thing. Um, I don't have to get that fixed. But I have been using these so much that I don't even care. <laughs> these work so well. And how well do they work, you might ask? No, I mean, really, are you asking? Because I, I, I could tell you if, if it does. Well, I put them to the test, like literally every day, but I put them to the speed test. And uh, yeah, these cards are much faster and very stable, uh, just like before. So I measured these at a sustained 2.38 gigabytes a second read from the entire card continuously. And uh, it's 2.5 gigabytes per second write speed sustained. It's insane. They are extremely fast. It's so fast that I actually had to find storage that I could dump these to to make sure that the storage wasn't the problem. And that's really hard to go clean it off your Mac, your, your SSD on your Mac, so that you can have, you know, really, really good high speed uh, you know, storage to, to put these to. I mean, these cards are incredible. These were already really good. And the thing that I liked about these B1s is they didn't they didn't fall out of my fingers when I was holding them. They didn't degrade with heat load. Uh, most of these, see, the, man, these things are slippery. Uh, most of these will heat up and start to degrade and they gotta go down in performance a little bit. They, they don't fail. That's not, the, that's not the point, but it just manages its, uh, its flow so that it doesn't overheat. These would get hot as, yeah, and uh, they never degraded. They they were amazing. These, way faster, way faster, and they don't degrade. Now the eight terabyte NVMe, it's been really good. Now it does have some limitations. Uh, it is built with a large cache and then some slower NVMe storage behind it. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that 
If you plug it into the really high speed Windows machine right on the motherboard that say is capable of five gigabytes a second, you're gonna blast through that five gigabytes and then it's gonna slow down. And it slows down to about 850 megabytes a second sustained through the entire card. That cutoff seems to be around 250 to 300 gigabytes. So if you take one of these cards and you dump it to that eight terabyte, it will blast all day long at 2.8 gigabytes a second. Well, on these, it actually will, will be about 2.38 on the reads, but it'll, it'll blast through that on that NVMe eight terabyte for about 250 to 300 gig, and then slows down to 850. So that is that is not an overheat issue. That is actually a caching two different levels of, of NVMe speed. And that is not abnormal. You'll see that with uh, honestly quite a bit of NVMe's that are out there. Some of them have very tiny, tiny amounts of cache, like 32 gig. I have one that is, uh, I, I, don't, I didn't even run a, a uh, a review on it because it didn't perform very well. It was pretty quick for 32 gig and then it went to like 80 megabytes a second. That isn't gonna work. The uh, Nextarage eight terabyte, which I will show here, because <laughs> I don't have it in my hand because it's right now it's copy footage. Um, it runs really well in well. 850 megabytes a second is nothing to sneeze at. And for editing, once the data is on there and you're editing red 8K footage and you're, you're, it's not a problem. It's gonna blast into that cache all day long and be super fast and really uh, useful. Uh, it's only when you're doing long sustained dumps or long sustained reads from it that once you get past the 250, 300 gig, then it's going to slow down to 850 megabytes a second. I mean. It's, it's still really fast. But that was the Nextarage 8 terabyte NVMe. So what are the pros and cons of these cards? Well, the pros, damn, they're fast. Uh, they're really fast. Uh, they don't overheat and slow down. Uh, what's the negatives? I guess the only negative is they don't make them bigger. 1.3 terabytes is as big as they have them, but by golly, they fly. Uh, price, they're priced competitively with uh, all the other brands out there that are, are premium brands. Um, so negative, there's, there's, there's not really any negatives to them. They are better than the B1s by being faster. They're both just as reliable. Um, so I can put these in my hands. I get, man, when I'm like 80 years old, I'll be like, I can't hold them. The arthritis is just killing me. So yeah, B2s, B1s. The B2s are the B2, bro. They're awesome. Yeah, really, really kind of amazing. What do you think about the next garage? And I hope I'm saying that right. Somebody told me it was next storage. I'm like, well, where's the S? If it's next storage, there's no there's no S on there. It's just next orange. So I could say next orange, or I could say next garage. I have no idea how to actually pronounce it. When I said hello, we never even discussed the name. <laughs> What do you think about them? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd really love to know what you think and what you know what cards you're using and what cards you're having problems with. It's, it's interesting to see them out there on, in the real world, other cards and and well these because I've I know a bunch of people that have purchased these and have been very very happy with them. I'll put some links to these down below. Uh, they're affiliate links, so please disable your uh, ad blockers. It really does help that way. I actually get credit for them. Um, it just, you know, it helps the channel. But if you really want to stand out, if you want everybody to go, all right, well, then you should consider becoming a channel member like these 
fine individuals. And as always, as I like to leave you, don't let your passions sit around your life. Let your life center around your passions. Mm-hmm.